think that I'm the alien part on this <laughs> title. Um, for me, as a Romanian playwright um, and poet uh, who left Romania in 2001 and started again from scratch in uh, New York in her early 30s, of course, this constant negotiation of two worlds, of two cultures, uh, represents the core of my new work, of my American place. So, after uh, my Fulbright grant at uh, New York University, after doing an MA in performance studies, uh, being Richard Schechner's writer residence, doing an MFA in dramatic writing and teaching at New York University and other American universities, uh, my soul is, of course, right now in New York, but at the same time coming back to Romania, I'm of course finding my Romanian roots and I'm realizing that I'm still a Romanian writer as well. So this permanent negotiation, this in between us, is now what I understand to be my world. And all my American plays, I think, reflect this uh, constant negotiation. That's why uh, probably, also in New York, I connected with the Latino writers, with um, diverse writers uh, from different backgrounds um, to uh, explore together these kind of issues. And maybe my most produced uh, play, Aliens with Extraordinary Skills, and the only one that brings me some money, <laughs> you know, uh, is actually also a reflection of this uh, uh, alien uh, status. Actually, it was the title of my visa at that time, <laughs> Aliens with Extraordinary Skills in the Arts. So I thought it's such a beautiful title, such a poetic um, visa title, that I need to use it in a play. Of course, it's not an autobiographical play, but it does start with a real event, and it's a funny thing that Cosmin Kivu, another guest of the festival, he's the one who sent me that article about um, some undocumented immigrants in Orlando, Florida, and that um, story inspired me to start um, Aliens with Extraordinary Skills and my other plays. So, basically, I think that in each of my plays I explore these foreign uh, characters in New York and in America, and the way they struggle to make a living, their resilience, their hopes, uh, their negotiation between the American dream and the American nightmare, because <laughs> the American dream can easily turn into a nightmare for immigrants and aliens especially. So this, for me, this topic is such a rich exploration for my heart, for my soul, for my brain, and for what represents theater right now for me. I hope for other people too.